All right, it is um, Thursday, April 20th. And as you can see, I've made it back out to the yurt that we are building. Brought some supplies with me, um, just a little bit of water to drink and some more tarps and whatnot. We had to quickly leave this area last night. It was pretty windy, but it looks like everything held up. And as far as I can tell, there were no other visitors here last night. I am going to need to secure the facility a little bit more, secure these panels, but it's actually holding up pretty nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and continue um, with reinforcing the roofing, and then we're actually going to try to um, go ahead and um, start putting up roofing. See how it does. It is um, very windy out here, so <laughs> I don't know how well our roof is going to do when I start to put the whole thing together and it becomes a sealed unit. All right, believe it or not, I've been working for a couple of hours here. You can see I went a little crazy up here on the top because I started to um, remove the the beams. These are actually brand new beams I had to make because I broke the old ones. I had um, started to remove the beams and the whole roof was starting to collapse. It was starting to concave back in. So it looks like it's not going to hold itself up. The weight is too heavy in the center. It would need more weight on the edges here. And I don't want to put too much weight on here because then the whole thing will collapse again. So what I did was I went ahead and put the beam up. Um, the, central, the central beams to hold it up. But also I secured it with these beams and cross beams to help spread the weight out. Now what I'm going to need to do because these beams are flimsy. You can see I've actually um, doubled it up. One on each side make it a little bit stronger but I'm gonna make some cross beams like a, a ladder you now like a step ladder to go across here not a whole bunch just a few and use it as a decorative element and so the the yurt actually has two rooms it's got this front room right here and it's gonna have this back room so it's got a little somewhat of a wall here we're gonna have to um, I'm gonna be running beams here to make it a little stronger but for now I think this will hold I'm going to go ahead and start putting up the roofing material because I want to try to get this done tonight. Um, at least have the roofing up. So that's what the plan will be. We'll see what happens. All right. After some debating, I've decided that I'm going to make at least part of the roofing clear. So I'm going to use this um, plastic drop cloth here as the roofing. And the reasoning for that is I want some natural light to come in here so it's not so dark in this um, yurt. But the second thing is, there's shade on this side right here, which is fine. But right here, there's kind of an opening, so you can see the, um, the sky. And I think that I'm going to leave that open so I can see the sky. Uh, just in case I end up spending the night out here. I don't know if you can hear the others, they're nearby. Over there, that way off there somewhere. I had heard a, a banging sound coming from what appeared to be Camp Freedom, and I ran out there but didn't see anyone, so I don't know what the banging sound was, some kind of metallic bang, but it might have been over there, and I just thought it was from here. But um, the roof had been collapsing earlier, so I reinforced it, so it's crazy now. It's got like a huge patchwork of uh, beams and cross beams. But we're going to go ahead and um, plan to leave part of this um, opening right here. I think this front part right here. We're going to kind of leave it open as a, um, what do they call those, a sky roof, a skylight? So that we get some light coming in from this area and um, can see the sky. The parts that we can't see anyways, we might just go ahead and, I think we're going to go ahead and shade this part. So, we'll see what happens. Well, it turns out that this material that I thought was clear, the drop cloth, isn't. And it's like ultra thin, so trying to put it up, it's going to rip. So we're not going to use it. I do want the skylight. So what I'm going to do is put up part of the roofing. I'm going to go ahead and um, put up the back portion of the roofing using the tarp. And then um, I will use, um, I will have to find, I think I know where I can get some. Um, basically, I need some clear sheets of plastic, thick plastic, that I'm going to use for the skylight. And I'll be placing those later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and place um, the tarp as the roofing material because this drop cloth is not going to work. 
it's too um, hazy. And also it's ultra thin, so it's hard to, to maneuver up there. I thought it was going to be clear like this, but it's not. So we'll get some um, thicker plastic, um, if I can find some to, to use for that. Here then is the first piece of the roofing. I um, I basically am using the holes with the rivets if I can. But where I can't, I've been poking a little hole and just tying it to the beams. I haven't really tied a whole bunch because I, I have it loose right now. And you can see that I left an overhang here. And that was on purpose because I'm thinking of making an overhang around the whole building. And leaving the scap here. And we're going to put mosquito netting up if we can. So that um, air will blow through. That way it doesn't get like really hot inside here. At least that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Um, what we can do with this uh, to make the overhang, we're just going to put some beams out here and just attach them and extend it out, you know, and then have this sitting out there like that. So we get an overhang. And this way we have like a little bit of a window on this side too. Get some breeze and a little bit of window. Um, <laughs> At least that's the plan right now. I don't know. I, I'm kind of building I'm, as I go, you know, there's no real set plan here. But we do want to leave a skylight here, so I probably won't put this part up till later. Alright, as you can see, I've got two sections of the roofing up. And um, what I've been doing is, where these um, cross beams are, if, if they were too tall, like right here, I just break it off. I carefully uh, niche it and pry at it. I should bring my hacksaw and just saw it off so it's not too tall. I'm going to have to do that over here on these here. They're a little bit tall, or I might just leave them both big like that. But um, I've been just tying it down minimal because I'm going to try to get a big piece of um, plastic, clear plastic, and put it up through here to help um, give it some light. So we're going to open up several skylights inside so that... Um, originally I was going to put windows in like here so you could look out, but now I'm thinking you could just have the windows here and look out because it's eye level. And it also serves as a skylight. And that way I don't have to worry about opening up the bottom. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just keep the windows on top and peek out through here. Assuming the overhang doesn't block the view. But that's what the plan will be. I'm going to try to put up some more and we might put in more skylights. Um, it just depends on how the layout goes. Sadly, I came all the way out here to Little Blue 2 to try to get a handsaw. I had a handsaw, but now I don't know where it is because the van's kind of semi disassembled. Um, I'm gonna have to clean it out and look for it. I don't know if it's in there or if I took it out and used it somewhere and misplaced it. So for now, I'm gonna use this, uh, this little knife that we bought for remember our $10 survival kit? This is a Dollar Tree knife. The uh, blade has a little bit of um, ridges. So it might be okay for sawing, whereas the blade on this one is smooth. So it is getting late and I'm running out of time um, trying to deal with that roofing issue. Proved to be um, a lot harder than I thought it would be. So I spent a lot of time doing, doing that. So it is like late evening right now and I have to leave soon. So hopefully we can try to get as much of the roofing up as we can other than the skylights. I'm, I'm taking the little knife there to saw the um, the little cross beam axis where it you know sticks out a little too high, and um, we're gonna go ahead and um, try to get that all sorted and straightened out. You can see now there is a path. I don't know if you can see clearly see the path from me having walked here so much, but the path goes on back and uh, makes it easier to find the the yurt area right now. The reason I bothered to get this blade, I wish it was serrated like um, a saw. It is somewhat serrated, but the serration is really thin. Just so I can saw through. You can see I cut through this. Because if I just try to break it, it may break somewhere else. So I'm trying to saw it to start a break and then breaking it. I just don't want it too high up. Like that's sticking up too high. And this will allow me to kind of um, keep the roofing from sticking up too much on the edge there you real quick what I meant by um, breaking off the edge here you can see I broke that piece off you can see it's no longer sticking up really tall here I've started to make a little edge 
I try to break it here. I'm gonna have to take two hands. I'll take my hand off. I gotta put the camera off right now because I gotta use two hands. I don't wanna break it down below. I just wanna break it up at the top part. You can see I, I was able to break it off. I, I put one hand and grabbed it down here and I put the other hand on top and kind of like I just bent it forward and it broke off. So you can see it's uh, I only left about two or three inches to stick up. I didn't want it too long. I might have to do this one or I might leave it. But basically I don't want the pieces sticking up to be too tall. At least not in certain spots. Alright, let's continue. All right, sadly, I've run out of time and have to leave for the day. Trying to secure this roofing took a lot longer than I had thought it would. I literally worked a couple hours on it. Um, I've started to lay out the pieces. I think I need to secure this before I go. But I've started to lay everything out and um, ran out of time, so I'm going to have to finish later. I am leaving this part here as a skylight. This part here as a skylight so we get some light coming in and we can peek out. Sort of. <laughs> and um, maybe I'll make it so you can peek out even more over here. I don't know. Make it so you can peek out a little bit more. And uh, this part may also be a skylight so it's not too dark in here. Because you can see with the roofing on here it's starting to get kind of dark even though um, the blue does let some of the light through. I just hope it doesn't um, collapse before I get a chance to really, really reinforce it and make it stronger. So until next time, everybody, thank you for joining me, and um, hopefully we'll get this thing wrapped up very soon here. Then is a quick tour here of what we've got so far. We still have this part that we need to cover with the skylight, and a couple openings that I have left for light to come in. So the place isn't gloomy and dark, and we just need to secure all this stuff. It is very windy. So far, the structure doesn't seem to be... Um, shaking or anything, which is good. I don't know if you can hear the wind there. It is pretty windy. And um, I'm going to go ahead and head out.